in the Makina case, what we had was there was a type of hormone uh, known as 17P that had been compounded by compounding pharmacies for women who were afraid that their child would be born prematurely, that their infant would be born prematurely. And this was relatively inexpensive at the pharmacies. I think it was $20 a dose over the term of pregnancy. Maybe it ends up being $400 or so. But the worry was that it wasn't dosed exactly precisely enough or there were other concerns about the nature of this drug and the FDA wanted to incentivize some drug companies to say develop a purer version of it or a better version of it. Um, they did so and the company um, KV ended up with a version of 17P called Makina that was a lot better for many purposes. But the problem was that they raised the price by quite a multiple. It ended up that this, instead of costing $400 a pregnancy, might end up costing $20,000 a pregnancy. When that occurred, there was worry that this would add $4 billion to the healthcare costs of the United States. Um, so the worry here is we have a conflict between the possibility of, say, a massive windfall for KV at the expense of, say, a lot of, say, mothers that may not have insurance or the healthcare system overall, or we have the possibility that, say, KV gets nothing out of this, even after they've done a great job in terms of researching a better version of the drug. So how do you end up with something in between those two outcomes? And I think that the future in this area, as in many areas of medical uh, innovation and in medical uses of drugs and devices, is the risk corridors approach that you see in Medicare Part D. Essentially, the government says to insurers, you're not going to lose too much money, you're not going to make too much money. You're kind of like a utility. And I think that's sort of the, the ultimately going to be the future of regulation in many of these areas, where we need incentives for better products and better drugs, but we can't keep purchasing them um, at massive cost of the system overall.